Interface Overview. Welcome to the Cisco Packet Tracer Interface Overview. This tutorial will show you how to start using the program. The menu bar provides the File, Edit, Options, View, Tools, Extensions, and Help menus. Basic commands such as New, Open, Open Samples, Save, Save As, Save as PKZ, Save as Common Cartridge, Print, Exit and Log Out, and Exit are located in the File menu. The most recent Packet Tracer files that have been opened can be viewed from here. The Copy, Paste, Undo, and Redo commands can be found in the Edit menu. Preferences, User Profile, Algorithm Settings, and View Command Log can be found in the Options menu. Refer to the Options tutorial to learn more about customizing Packet Tracer. Zoom options for the workspace and a list of toolbars that can be displayed or hidden can be found in the View menu. The Drawing Palette and the Custom Devices dialog can be accessed from the Tools menu. The Activity Wizard can be launched from the Extensions menu. Multi-user and IPC scripting settings can also be changed from here. The Help menu provides access to extensive help files, Packet Tracer tutorials, and online resources, as well as the ability to report a bug in Packet Tracer. The main toolbar provides shortcut icons for options within the File, Edit, View, and Tools menus. On the right, the Network Information button can be used to enter a description for the current network. A shortcut to Help Files is also available there. The Common Toolbar contains items that are frequently used in the Packet Tracer workspace. It contains the Select tool, which is the default tool used to drag, highlight, and select objects, devices, and non-wireless links. The Place Note tool is used to add annotations to the workspace. The Delete tool is used to delete devices, notes, objects made from the drawing palette, and non-wireless links. The Inspect tool is used to view device operation tables. The Drawing Palette can also be accessed from the Common Tools bar, with the Freeform Polygon selected as the default shape for drawing. The Resize tool is used to resize device icons and objects in the workspace. The Add Simple PDU tool is used to create an ICMP packet between devices. The Add Complex PDU tool is used to create customized packets between devices. The Default Type Selection box is used to organize and show all of the devices and link types available in Packet Tracer. It is organized into categories above the category text indicator and subcategories below the text. Specific network components or connections will be displayed in the device specific selection box by selecting the category or subcategory. The area for the user created PDU list window is now suppressed by default to allow for more devices to be shown, but can be seen by clicking on the left facing arrow in the lower right corner of the packet tracer display. It contains the scenario box which allows users to create and delete scenarios. This is also where packets that are placed on the network during the simulation scenarios can be managed. The logical workspace is where the users can build a network reflecting a logical topology diagram. This is the logical workspace. These buttons apply to the logical workspace only. Their functions will be explained in detail in the logical workspace tutorial. The logical toolbar consists of the following buttons back, root, new cluster, move object, set tile background, viewport, and environment. Click the physical tab to go to the physical workspace. Some tools are disabled or grayed out in the physical workspace. This means that they are not available for use in this view.
The physical workspace provides a physical representation of the logical network topology, giving a sense of space and location to devices and networks. The functions of these buttons, along with the other features of the physical workspace, will be covered in detail in the physical workspace tutorial. The physical toolbar consists of the following buttons. Navigation, Back, Current Location, New City, New Building, New Container, New Closet, Move Object, Grid, Set Background, Environment, and Working Closet. Click the Logical tab to return to the Logical Workspace. This ends the Interface Overview Tutorial.